Hi everyone, my name is Ariane. I am a luxury travel advisor based in Vancouver, Canada, and today we are here in Ghent, Belgium. So this is officially my 29th country. I am so excited to be exploring the country of Belgium today. We unfortunately are docked in a industrial area, so Ghent, we can't actually dock right in the center of town. We are docked just outside of the Ghent town center, and we will be shuttled in today for our shore excursions. So the thing about river cruising that is different than ocean, <laughs> the ships are definitely a lot smaller, which means my view this morning is actually of a concrete wall. <laughs> um, I do have a little bit of light right there, um, but that is actually a pretty big difference um, from ocean to river. There aren't a lot of river ships on our particular itinerary, so sometimes river ships do park um, sometimes two or three next to each other, uh, and then you actually do have to walk over the river ships to get to your particular ship. I am now all ready for the day, <laughs> so let's go to breakfast. I had breakfast in the restaurant and ordered a Belgium waffle off the menu this morning. The waffles on board Avalon Waterways are real liege waffles, which is made of a thicker dough batter made with pearl sugar, so the sugar caramelizes as the waffle is cooked. Highly recommend trying one if you cruise on Avalon Waterways. Avalon Waterways also no longer prints the daily newsletter and places it in your stateroom the night before, so you do need to go to the download section in the Avalon Go app to view what your daily schedule is for the day. After breakfast, I headed out on my shore excursion, which was a walking tour called Ghent, the Diamond of Flanders. Ghent has quite the history behind it and I honestly didn't realize it until I visited here. Our guide told us some of the history including the first two abbeys in Ghent were founded around the year 650. The city was also plundered by Vikings in the 8th century and by 1300 Ghent became one of the richest cities in Europe. I found Ghent to be quite the charming city, especially the historical center, and would love to visit here again. The architecture here was wonderful to look at and was so unique. This unique art piece found in the corn market area is actually compromised of a few replicas of the window frames found in this particular square. And yes, I did add a Belgian mug to my mug collection. Our guide also pointed out a metal beam art piece which on the 1st of May every year because of how the beam is situated and if the sun is actually shining that day it creates an interesting illumination and joins shadows. Some 
something else I didn't know was that the film The Monuments Men was actually based on a true story and the adoration of the mystic lamb is actually housed in the St. Bravos Cathedral. You can pay a fee and see the painting yourself if you ever visit Ghent. Another interesting fact about Ghent is this is where they signed the Treaty of Ghent. That ended the War of 1812 between the United States and the United Kingdom. some free time here in Ghent. Not very much time, but we had about half hour of free time. So I did pop over to Starbucks to purchase one of my little mugs that I always get from everywhere around the world that I visit. Uh, sorry for the quality of the sound. <laughs> I did forget my microphone actually in the room back on the ship. But just wanted to pop on here and say I had an amazing time in Ghent. If you are looking at coming to Ghent, I highly suggest it. I learned so much. So now we are going to go back. Um, we have to meet up at 11.30, so that's in about 10 minutes time. And then we're gonna go back to the ship. I do have a little bit of work I need to do, unfortunately, this afternoon. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna have a little bit of a relaxing afternoon. So uh, let's go meet up with the group and see what we get up to this afternoon. Once back on board the Avalon Artistry 2, it was time for some lunch. After lunch, I did spend a bit of time in my cabin catching up on a bit of work. Wi-Fi is complimentary on board Avalon Waterways, however, I will say that it can be a bit spotty at times. It did tend to work a little bit better while we were docked. I'm not sure if that was also due to many people not being on the ship out exploring, so the bandwidth might have been slightly better because of that as well. Avalon Waterways also offers an afternoon tea every day in the Panorama Lounge, which I did take advantage of today. I was also able to peek into one of the royal suites on board Avalon Waterways Artistry 2. As a luxury travel advisor, my clients typically receive added benefits when booking vacations, hotel stays, and cruises through me. I'd love to work with you as your travel advisor if you don't already have one. You can contact me using the link found in the description box down below.
For dinner tonight, I started off with the vol au vent puff pastry, followed by the braised duck leg à l'orange and the forest berry crepe for dessert. Afterwards, we all then went up to the lounge for a very competitive game of trivia. To pass on your form to the next table, the next table will check your questions and since you're competition, they will check it carefully. I don't Hi friends! So as you can see, I am now getting ready for bed. I had such a great day here in my 29th country, which is of course Belgium, and Ghent was a really interesting historical center and I really enjoyed visiting Ghent. So if you are ever visiting Belgium, I highly suggest Ghent. Yeah, it was just really interesting and really enjoyed exploring this city. So now we are on our way to Antwerp tonight. Unfortunately, one of the locks has some issues, so we can't actually sail into Brussels. So we are heading to Brussels tomorrow. However, we are actually sailing into Antwerp. And from Antwerp, we will actually do our excursions into Brussels from there. So we are overnighting in Antwerp uh, tomorrow. So definitely subscribe because there are a few episodes still to come. And yeah, I'm having such a great time on this river cruise. If you have been on the fence about river cruising, I highly suggest booking one because they're really an amazing way to explore Europe. And also they do have river cruises in Asia as well and also Egypt. So there are lots of options when it comes to river cruising and also the Amazon. I'll also say that. <laughs> So thank you again so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, like I mentioned, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and we'll see you next time. Bye.